I did a seminar one time for a standard oil executive and management in Honolulu. We were having a conference one day around this big conference table. And one of them said to me, Mr. Ron, you know some fairly important people halfway around the world. What do you think the 80s are gonna be like? I said, gentlemen, I do know the right people. I can tell you. So they all listened very carefully. And I said, gentlemen, based on my wide experience, I can really honestly say to you, in my opinion, in the 80s, it's gonna be about like it's always been now of course i say that to make a point but i also say it because it's accurate it's gonna be about like it's always been it isn't going to change the tide comes in and what it goes out for six and a half thousand years that we know of record in history and probably long before that so it isn't gonna change it gets light and then what it turns dark six and a half thousand years see it's not gonna change and we're not be startled by that it gets light then it turns dark in rotation the next season after fall is what winter every year regularly for the last six and a half thousand that we know of see it's not gonna change now some winters are long some are short some are hard some are easy but they always come right after fall it's not gonna change sometimes you can figure it out sometimes there is no way to figure it out sometimes it goes well sometimes it gets in a knot Sometimes it sails along, sometimes it gets in the reverse. See, that's not gonna change. The last 6,000 years reads like this. Opportunity mixed with difficulty. That's how it reads. It isn't gonna change. The man says, well, if it's not gonna change, how will my life ever change? Answer, when you change and whether I'm talking to a high school kid or business executive, my message is always the same. And it goes like this. The only way it get better for you is when you get better. Let me give you the four major lessons in life to learn. Here are four majors. It is good to study the majors. In our weekend seminar, we teach some people don't do well because the major in minor things. We've got to be on the lookout at the end of every week, end of every month. You got to check. Make sure you're not spending major time on minor things. We go through that whole series, majors and minors. Now, let me give you two phrases before we get to the four majors. This will set it up. And you will see where I'm going. Two key phrases for your notes. Here's the first one. Life and business is like the changing seasons. That's the first phrase. Life and business is like changing season. One of the best ways to describe life. It's like the seasons. Frank Sinatra sings. Life is like the seasons. Now, here's the second phrase. Very important. You cannot change the seasons. But you can change yourself. You cannot change the seasons. But you can change yourself. And see, that's how life gets better for you not by change but by change now here are four major lessons in life to learn i've got my first book finished it came out a couple of weeks ago and this is it. the four major lessons in life to learn here they are number one learn how to handle the winters that's lesson one they came right after fall with regularity some are long some are short some are hard some are easy but they keep coming you must learn to handle the nights they came right after days you must learn to handle difficulty it comes right after opportunity you must learn to handle recessions they always follow progressions for the last six thousand see it's not gonna change the lesson you must learn is how to handle it and there are all kinds of winter right the winter when you can't figure it out the winter when it all goes smash the winter when it turns belly up the winter when it won't work when you've run out of money and you've got a broken heart see those are winter times there is all kinds economic winter social winter personal winter when your heart is smashed in a thousand pieces and the nights are usually long your prayers seem to go no higher than your head it's winter time barbara strain sings it used to be so natural to talk about forever but used to bees don't count anymore you just lay on the floor till we sweep them away you don't sing me long songs and you don't say you need me and you don't bring me flowers anymore a song of winter but see the 
disappointment come those are normal that's a part of life but the question is how do you handle it how do you handle the coming winters and the disappointments and the down times well you cannot get rid of january by tearing off in a calendar but there is always what we can do you can get stronger you can get wiser you can get better the winters won't change but you can and that's how life changes for you see before i understood when it was winter i used to wish it was summer i I didn't understand when it was hard I used to wish it was easy I didn't know and then my mentor gave me a part of his very unique philosophy when he said don't wish it was easier wish you were better see that triggered my whole life change don't wish for less problems wish for more skills don't wish for less challenge wish for more wisdom that's the key so that's lesson one how to learn to handle winters here is lesson two learn how to take advantage of the spring that's the second one spring is called opportunity and spring follows winter what a great place for it if you were going to put it somewhere that would be the place to put it right after winter and pray tell how often does spring follow winter every year with regularity six thousands you can almost count on it see opportunity always comes days follow nights isn't that terrific opportunity follows difficulty but here is what you must learn to do underline these two words in that key phrase take advantage underline those two you must learn to take advantage of the spring see just because spring rolls around there is no sign you're gonna look good calm fall you gotta do something with it in fact you have to get good at one of the two things in life planting in the spring and begging in the fall or get somebody to do it for you see those are about the only alternatives now here is what else you must do take advantage of spring quickly because there is only few just a handful of spring have been handed to each of us they don't come forever life is fairly brief so you gotta read every book you can get your hands on about what to do with your springs while they are here and take advantage they soon run out the Beatles wrote life is so short and for John Lennon it was extra short but life is brief Elton John sings she lived her life like a candle in the wind it's brief so whatever you're going to do with your life you gotta get at it don't just let the springs pass 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 here is the third major lesson in life to learn learn how to protect your crops all summer you gotta take care of what you start sure enough as soon as you planted your garden in the spring the busy box and noxious weeds are out to take it and here is the next bit of truth it will take it unless you prevent it and that's the third major skill to learn you've gotta learn to prevent the intruder from taking all the goods you start it's one of the challenges here are two key phrases and number three first one all goods will be attacked on this planet it. maybe not the next one we get to but on this one all good will be attacked and here is the second phrase all values must be defended political values social values community values family values marriage values friend values business values every garden must be tended all summer third major lesson now here is number four fourth major lesson in life to learn learn how to reap in the fall without complaint learn how to reap calm harvest time without complaint take full responsibility for what happens to you it is one of the highest forms of human maturity accepting full responsibility it is the day you know you've passed from childhood to adulthood the day you accept full responsibility and another notes learn to reap in the fall without apology without apology if you do well and without complaint if you don't that's maturity i used to have that long life of reasons why i wasn't doing well to explain you gotta explain right otherwise you're gonna look bad i used to have this funny list called reasons for not looking good i used to blame the government i mean you can believe that or not it was at the top of my first list i had a lecture second to none the government that was on my list i used to blame taxes look what you got left after they take everything and expect you to do well that was on my list their prices that's one's easy right you walk into the supermarket with $20 come back with a little half pack so I had that on my list I used to blame the weather I used to blame the traffic I used to blame my car I blame my manufacturers I used to blame the company I used to blame company policy I used to blame the training program I blamed my negative relatives they were always putting me down I blamed my cynical neighbors they're just selfish looking out for themselves won't 
don't loan you money, they were on my list. I used to blame the economy. I blamed the community. That's a pretty good list for not doing well, isn't it? Thought it was good. I never forget one day. Mr. Schaff was very kind and but he was very blunt and this was no exception and I'm glad he was blunt. There is always things I do have missed if you hadn't been blunt. One day with a sort of curious look on his face, he said, Jim, just out of curiosity, tell me how come you haven't done well yet? Excellent question. I thought, well, so I won't look too bad. I'll go through my list and this list. I just crave you. Put that on him and he was very patient. He let me go through the whole thing, the government, the weather. I went through this whole thing. When I finished, he looked my list over very carefully. He said, Mr. Ron, big problem with your list. You ain't on it. How brilliant. When I went to work for him a few months later, I learned very quickly to tear up my list. Reasons for not doing well and I threw it away and I got me a fresh piece of paper and I put one word on it. Me. There is a black heritage spiritual that says, it's not my mother, it's not my father, it's not my brother, it's not my sister, but it's me. Oh Lord, standing up in the need of prayer. See, I used to blame everything outside and then let me give you a little philosophy that helped turn my life around for your notes. Here it is. It's not what happens that determines the quality or the quantity of your life. It isn't what happens and the reason is because what happens happens to about everybody.